Hey guys, I am Deanna from DC Fit, and I am getting ready for today's workout, which I have titled the 30 for 30, because we will be completing 30 exercises in 30 minutes. Uh, we'll be working for 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest transition. Be sure to grab your water and your dumbbells and your mat, and we'll get started. 30 exercises, one at a time. Here we go. All right guys, here we go. Our first of 30 exercises is a front squat. So feet a little more than shoulder width apart. Let's get these dumbbells racked right here at the shoulders. We're gonna sit back in the heels and the hips and press up. Let's go in five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back and press. Sitting back in the heels, back in those hips, pressing up with an exhale. Keeping those dumbbells close to the chest. Good, keep that chest up. Shoulder blades are pinched in the back. We don't wanna fall over into this squat. Shoulder blades pinched, chest up. All right, we've got 25 seconds. 30 exercises. Guys, apply yourself to each one. Be intentional about each exercise because you won't be back. Big exhale. 15 seconds. Up and press. Good. 10 seconds, we're gonna bring it to the floor. Nice. Here we go, five, four, Three, two, and one. Good. Dumbbells down. Bring it all the way to the floor. Body on the floor. Hands, thumbs right there under your arms. Shoulder blades back, shoulders back, elbows back. We're going to press up for a tricep cobra push-up. Here we go. 45 seconds. Elbows back. Press. Press. Exhale with that lift. Pressing the palms into the floor, pressing the floor away from the body, using those triceps, elbows back, lift, and lift, good. Exhale as you come up, using the tricep, elbows back, press up, palm grounded into the floor, pressing through, big exhale, good. Here we go, we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way up. Body weight exercise. We're gonna do some side to side kickboxing kicks. All right, we're gonna hinge right here. Kicking with the heel to the wall, each side, left and right. Let's go in four, three, two, and one. Here we go, left, right. Kicking the side, we got a little touch squat in the middle. Nice work. Exhale with those kicks. If your foot were to hit the wall, it would be your heel that hits the wall first. Really kicking out of that hamstring and your glute. Good. Big exhale. Got about 20 seconds. Then we start over with the legs. Our exercises go legs, arms, and then some type of cardio, core type exercise. We've got about eight seconds here. And then we're gonna pick those dumbbells back up. Big kick, side to side, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, grab those dumbbells. We're going to reverse lunge right. So ground that left foot, send that right leg back, hold it here, and then we're gonna bring it down and up. So all the weight is on that front left heel and leg. Right leg is back and stays there. Good, watch that left knee out front. Don't let it lunge up over that toe. Chest up, pinch those shoulder blades, draw those shoulders and chest back. Nice, up and down. That back knee, that right knee back there should be just past your hips. Down and up. Good work, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, now for the arms, we've got alternating shoulder press. So let's kick stand, one foot out front, one foot in the back. Alternate right and left. In three, two, and one. Right and left. Good. Abs are tight, supporting that weight, press and pull, press, pull, press, pull. 
Try not to just drop the weights on the eccentric part of the work. Pull it down. Resist the gravity there. Nice job. 20 seconds. Try not to grip your dumbbells to death either. The harder you grip those dumbbells, the more energy you waste in just your grip. Press and pull. 10 seconds. Here we go. Abs are tight. Keep those elbows up. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. All right. So back to our body weight cardio. It's going to be a jumping jack with a cross. We're crossing our legs. We'll cross right over left, then left over right. Let's begin in three, two, and one. Here we go. Jumping jack with a cross. Just like this. If you don't like jumping jacks, you can do a half jack. Just side to side. Either way, we got 45 seconds. Actually, at this point, we have about 30. So jumping jack and cross. Good. Let's exhale as those arms come up. Core tight. Good. Stabilizing all this momentum and movement. 15 seconds, and then we're back to our leg exercise, which is gonna be a straight leg dead. So about eight seconds, we'll grab those dumbbells. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, keep your head up as we go up and down, grabbing these dumbbells. You don't wanna drop your head. So we got our dumbbells out front. We're gonna send those hips back, bring them forward. Let's go in three, two, one. All right, straight leg dead. Send those hips back, knees slightly bent. Good, just let that head be a natural extension of your neck and spine, keeping those dumbbells close to the body, hips going back, hips coming forward with a squeeze. Good. Don't overroll your shoulders in the back. Just make it about your hips, going back and forward, back, then push them through. Good. We've got about 12 seconds. Exhale as everything comes up. Good. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one more. Good. All right, focusing now on the upper body. We're gonna isolate those biceps, which is an alternating bicep curl, okay? Let's go with five, four, three, two, and one. Just alternating bicep curls. Keep those elbows in close to the body, close to that rib cage. Lift and curl. We've got a little bit of a rotation here. Rotating the palms up and then back down to the side. We're gonna switch that grip later in the workout and change how we grip this bicep curl. But right now, let's just rotate with that palms up, nice and tight. Think about those biceps. Big exhale, grab your breath. Good work. All right, we've got about 12 seconds, and then we'll go back to our body weight cardio exercise, which is gonna be a hop into a plank and a walk back. <laughs> Let's go in three, two, and one. Actually, easier said than done. Not all exercises are like that, but that's a mouthful. So it's a big hop to a plank and then walk back. If you wanna get rid of the hop, you can, and just do a walk out, walk back. Let's go in three, two, and one. Big hop, plant that squat plank, walk back. And repeat, big hop, squat plank, walk back. Good, big hop to a squat plank, walk back. Nice, big hop to a squat plank, walk back. Try not to tuck your chin here. Keep that eye gaze right out in front of your hands. Don't watch your feet. Watching your feet means you're tucking your chin a little too much. Good, big hop to a squat plank, walk back. All right, we've got just about 10 seconds. Good, walk it back. Big hop, plank, walk back. Let's get one more, we got time for one more. Hop, plank, walk back. Nice work, good job. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna move into a back fly. So hinge here at the hips, 45 degrees, so we can access that back. Fly the elbows out, let's begin now. We've got 45 seconds, big exhale. As those arms come out wide, feet just about shoulder width apart, stabilize that base, and 
fly those elbows out to the side, keeping those shoulder blades tight and pinched back there. Big squeeze. Good. Exhale with that lift. Nice. We've got 15 seconds here. Good. Nice work. All right, 10 seconds. Good job. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, grab that dumbbell. Still working the right leg. So I'll face this way. We're gonna put the dumbbell right behind that right knee here. And we're gonna lift and lower for a hamstring curl. So abs are tight on all fours. Lift and lower, starting now for 45 seconds. Just keep that dumbbell there, right behind the knee. Lift and lower. You don't have to add the dumbbell. You can just lift and lower. Exhale with that lift. Big hamstring, glute squeeze. Good job, lift and lower. All right, 20 seconds. Exhale, nice work. Abs are tight, support that back. Lift and lower, squeeze. We've got about seven seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, grab that same dumbbell. Bring it up for our, our core exercise. We're gonna start down low to the right. Swing across the body high left for a wood chopper. So starting down low right, swing across the body. Go ahead and begin, 45 seconds. Abs are tight, big rotation, low right, high left. Good, pressing through that, that right heel and hip and glute, swinging high left, course tight, stabilizing all of that momentum, all of that instability. Good, let's exhale down low. Good. 15 seconds. Then we're back to legs. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice work, working that core, getting in some cardio. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, grab your other dumbbell. You can do this with one dumbbell if you want. I'm gonna do it with two. We're in a sumo squat, so knees and toes track out wide. Come down low. And right here, we're gonna perform a, just a tiny pulse. Sumo squat pulse. Pinch those shoulder blades, chest up. Tuck those glutes under. Pull that belly button in and up. That'll help you tuck those glutes under. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Keep those shoulder blades pinched, chest up. We're not falling over into this. Stay up, I'll turn sideways here. Sumo squat pulse. Low and press, low and press. Good, we've got 15 seconds. Good, 10 seconds. Finish strong, then we're gonna come down to the floor for a chest fly in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way down to the floor, keeping the dumbbells. Pinch those shoulder blades. Supporting the chest into the floor, abs are tight. Low back into the floor, let's press the dumbbells up and down, chest pressed. We'll get that chest fly later. Chest press, good. Press those dumbbells up, pull them down, press up, pull them down, press, pull, press, pull. Nice job. Push the dumbbells up, pull them down. Keep those shoulder blades pinched into the floor. Exhale as the dumbbells come up. 20 more seconds. Then we're gonna stay here actually and work the core. Big exhale as the dumbbells come up. 10 more seconds. Great job. All right, let's get five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's set the dumbbells down to the side. Keep your legs right where they are. Hands behind the head. Let your head just rest right there, heavy in your hands. Pull your chin out of your chest. Belly button in. We're gonna alternate. Knee in. Go ahead and begin for 45 seconds. Just alternate that knee crunch. Keep your chin out of your chest. Lifting it up. Good, don't tuck that chin. Press that belly button into the, 
into your back, into the floor, big exhale, each lift, good, nice. Guys, this is exercise 15. We are halfway there, good work. Keep alternating those knees, exhale with that lift, pressing the belly button in. Keep that head heavy in the hands, releasing that neck, chin out of the chest. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All the way up. Grab your dumbbells. We're gonna get even now. And we're going to reverse lunge for the right leg. So we're gonna send lefty back this time. Left knee, right knee forward. Abs are tight, shoulder blades pinched. And right here, let's pulse. So 45 seconds here, abs are tight. Chest up, shoulders back. You can go to one dumbbell here, you can drop a dumbbell and go to one just like this or hold it as a goblet. Completely up to you. We've got about 20 seconds. Watch that back knee. It's just past your hips. Our front right leg, our front right knee should not be extending past that toe. Down and up. Good, we've got 10 seconds here. Finish strong. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, grab your dumbbell. Tricep extensions behind your head. I'm gonna put my dumbbells together over my head, elbows forward, kickstand. One foot forward, one foot back. Elbows forward, let's send those dumbbells down and up. Abs tight. Stabilizing this weight overhead, elbows forward. Again, let's think about lowering the arms and lifting, lowering the dumbbells and lifting them, not just dropping them. Keep those elbows forward. Exhale with that lift. We don't want chicken arms out like this. Forward, I'm sending these dumbbells all the way back and up. Exhale with that lift. We've got 10 more seconds. And then we'll do our cardio core. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's set the dumbbells down. All right, I'm gonna do this from the side. Come to a squat, knees and toes forward, arms out front, halfway. We're just gonna press down like this, over and over, drawing that core in. Ready, begin, press down. Good, blow that air out as those arms come down. Good, blow the air out. Big squeeze to the core, keep the arms going. Again, that core stabilizing all of this momentum, abs tight. All right, we've got 15 seconds. Blow that air out, nice work. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Good. All right, grab a dumbbell, and we are going to do side-to-side -side lunges. Okay? So hold one dumbbell on a goblet squat and a goblet hold, and we're going to side lunge side-to-side. -side. Let's start right. Ready? Go. Right, up and left, nice. Let's keep the knees and toes forward, sitting back in the hips, pressing up through that heel. Good work. Sitting way back, press up. Way back, press up. Sitting in that hip and that heel. Big exhale as you come up. Good. All right, we've got about 15 seconds, and then we're moving on to an arm exercise. Good, remember, apply yourself to each exercise, you won't be back. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now let's pick up that other dumbbell. So now we're working the back again, back rows. We're gonna keep that 45 degree hinge, but this time we're gonna draw the elbows up and back. Let's go ahead and begin. Big row, good. Got a nice 45 degree hinge here, shoulder blades are pinched. Exhale with that lift. 
Nice work. Good job. Row it back and exhale. Getting about a 90 degree lift out back. Squeeze. Keep that hinge in your hips so that you're accessing your back and not just your shoulders. Draw those elbows back and up. All right, we've got 12 seconds. Finish strong. Here we go. Good, five seconds. Then we're gonna bring it down for a plank hold. And three, two, and one more. Good. All right, all the way down for a plank hold. So bring it to the floor. Let's keep those elbows right there under the arms, under the shoulders. Abs are tight, nice and tight, flat as a board. Pull those abs in, press the heels to the back, and let's hold 45 seconds. Again, don't drop your chin to look at your feet. Keep your gaze right there at your hands or out front, but try not to drop your, your head or your chin to look at your feet. Just a nice tight core. We've got about 20 seconds. Nice. Good. There we go. 15 seconds. Tight core, keep that butt down. As we get tired, it wants to come up. This is it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good work. All right, grab your dumbbell. Back to those hamstring curls. We're gonna put the dumbbell, if you're using one, behind the left knee this time. We're on all fours, hands under the shoulders. Abs are tight, protecting that back. And go ahead and lift and lower for 45 seconds. Working our left leg this time. We worked our right leg last time. We're working all things left this time. Abs are tight. Lift and lower. Again, you can drop this dumbbell. Let's say you get to about 20 seconds and you have it. Just drop it. Keep going with your body weight. We've got about 20 seconds left. Good job. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We've got it. Big curl. Good. 10 seconds. Good. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, for our arm exercise, we're turning it over on the floor for our chest fly. We did chest presses before. Now we're going to a chest fly. So knees up, shoulder blades pinched, dumbbells together up top, palms facing each other. Then we're going to send the arms out wide and back together. So let's start for 45 seconds. Out wide, back together. Nice, keep those shoulder blades pinched into the floor. Abs tight, low back into the floor. Arms out wide and then up together. You should feel like you're hugging a giant barrel on your way up. <sighs> Big exhale, nice work. 15 seconds here. And then when we get up, we're gonna finish with those wood choppers on the other side this time. Exhale with that lift. We've got about six seconds left for our flies. Let's go in four, finish strong. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All the way up, keep one dumbbell. All right, wood choppers. This time we're down low to the left, high to the right. So this time we're pressing through this left glute, heel, hamstring. Let's begin now. High to the right, low left. Core, nice and tight. Swing that dumbbell out across in front of you, low to high. Exhale, down low on this crunch. And press it up. Big rotation. Using those hips and those glutes. Nice. Big exhale. 20 seconds. Good. Good work. Finish strong. 10 seconds. We won't be back. Tight core. Tight core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Those are great. All right. Thrusters. We've got six exercises left. Dumbbells racked right here at the shoulders. We're going to squat, press up, okay? Ready, set, and go. Sit in the heels. Big press. Big press. Nice work. Compound exercise here. Doing two things at once. Big press. 
sit, press, sit, press. We've got 30 seconds. Nice. Big press. Sit, press up. 20 seconds. Sitting back low in the heel. <sighs> explode up with an exhale. Good. Press through those heels and explode. Exhale with that explode. <sighs> and <sighs> good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Woo! Nice work. Take a break. 15 seconds. Next, we've got hammer curls with a lateral raise, okay? We're gonna alternate that lateral raise. Here we go, hammer curls, lateral raise right. Hammer curls, lateral raise left. Good, hammer curl, lateral raise right. Hammer curl, lateral raise left. I'll go with you this time. <laughs> hammer curl, lateral raise right. Hammer curl, lateral raise left. Good, nice job. Exhale, hammer curl up, big squeeze, keeping those elbows close to the rib cage. Curl, let's lift right for that lateral raise. Curl, lift left. 10 seconds here, good. We've got it, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that brings us to our body weight cardio, which is a plank frog with the arms extended out front. So we've got this plank, come to a frog, out front. Let's go in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. More of a push-up position, plank, or arms extended plank, and then come to that frog with the arms out front. <sighs> Exhale, <sighs> as those arms come out front. <sighs> Good. We got about 25 seconds, finish strong, We've got three more exercises. You're doing great. Good, exhale. Extended plank, squat exhale. Good, 12 seconds. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All the way up. All right. Last leg exercise is a hip thrust. So let's bring it all the way to the floor. Dumbbell on the hips, abs in tight, back flat. Press through the heels up and down. Lift and lower, good. Keep those abs tight, pressing those hips up, pressing through that heel, through the hamstrings into the glutes, using the top part of your shoulders there, pressing through the heels, using your shoulders there as pressure points, kind of breakers, big press, abs are tight, nice, tight, flat core, supporting that low back, lift and squeeze, big squeeze to the glutes, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, nice work, all the way up. Last arm exercise is going to be an upright row down to a front raise, okay? So hands right here at your hips, and right here we're going to draw those elbows up wide, and then out front, okay? So exhale with that work, lift out front. Again, tight core, stabilizing all of this weight out front. Keep those shoulder blades low, try not to squeeze up. Shoulder blades, our shoulders low, dumbbells come up. Shoulders low, dumbbells up. Lift, good. Lift and squeeze. 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna end it with some skaters for 45 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Finish strong. We've got this. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's put those weights down for the last time. And we're gonna skater. Skater just kind of a glorified leap with a tap. You can make it just a leap. You don't have to add that little hop if you don't want to. All right, here we go. And big skater, 45 seconds. Here we go. Big arms. If your arms are tired, get rid of those arms. Just skater side to side. 
All right, here we go. This is it. Finish strong. 30 for 30 is done in 25 seconds. Big leap and tap, leap, tap, leap, tap, leap, tap. Good, here we go. Big exhale, 15 seconds, finish strong. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. That was 30 for 30. Great job. Way to go, guys. That was the 30 for 30. Great job. 30 exercises in 30 minutes. No boredom. I love it. Uh, be sure to take the time to stretch out and definitely drink some water. So thanks for working out with me today, and I'll see you next time.